Bubbles, have you seen my bag? Yes, it's in the kitchen. The kitchen light isn't working. It's too dark and I can't see anything. Just wait for a few minutes. Your eyes will adjust. Wow, you're right. I can see more clearly now. There's my bag. So, what happened to my eyes? Our eyes are amazing tools that can adapt to different brightness levels. Let's take a closer look at the changes in our eyes when we enter a dark room. The pupil of the eye dilates. In other words, it expands. How do you think this helps? The pupil becomes bigger, so it will allow more light to enter our eye. This helps in seeing in the dark. But how does the pupil become bigger? I'll give a hint. How does our body move? Our body uses muscles to move. Exactly. Our eye also uses muscles to expand and contract. These are known as radial and circular muscles and are present in the iris around the pupil. These muscles are involuntary. This means that we cannot knowingly control them. In dim conditions, the radial muscles contract and the circular muscles expand. The pupil becomes larger. This increases the amount of light that enters the eye. What happens in bright conditions? I think the opposite happens. The radial muscles expand and the circular muscles contract. This makes the pupil smaller. So, the iris adjusts the size of the pupil in our eye based on the brightness of our surroundings. But what happens after light enters the eye? Well, there's a layer at the back of the eyeball known as the retina. Light rays converge on the retina to form images our brain can understand. How many cells do you think the retina is made of? Millions? Yes, millions. The human retina has around 6 million cone cells. These cells are active in bright light and allow us to see colors. The retina also has around 120 million rod cells. These cells allow us to see in dim light. Rod cells need some time to start working. That's why you weren't able to see right away in the dimly lit kitchen. Our eyes are amazing. I can't wait to share all this with Miss Coco. Mrs. Coco, where are you? Oh, Spikey, I'm so glad you're here. I need your help because I can't see properly. But it's so bright. Why can't you see? I can't find my glasses, so the whole room seems blurred. Why? I can see the room clearly. Well, I'm short-sighted. That means I can only see objects nearby, while objects that are far away appear blurred. So how will your glasses help? For that, I'll have to first explain how the eyes help us form images. Oh, I know that. We can see because images are formed on our retina. That's right. But it's not just the retina that helps us. The surface of our eye, known as the cornea, acts like an outer lens. Behind this, there's a convex lens. In a healthy eye, these two work together to converge light rays nicely onto the retina. In my eyes, however, light rays from faraway objects converge to a point in front of the retina, so the images I see are blurry. The lenses in my glasses are concave lenses. When light rays go through the glasses, they diverge. These rays then converge through the convex lenses of my eyes. 
allowing the image to focus right on my retina. And this makes it easy for me to see everything clearly. What do you suppose would happen if I couldn't see nearby objects? Time for an exercise. Can you help Spikey define long-sightedness? Can you explain how it is corrected? I'll give you a hint. It's the opposite of short-sightedness, which we just learned about. In long-sightedness, objects close to the eye are blurred, but objects that are far away can be seen clearly. In this condition, the cornea and lens converge light rays from nearby objects to a point behind the retina. In other words, the light rays do not converge quickly enough. A lens is needed to converge the rays before they enter the eye. Therefore, we wear convex lenses to correct long-sightedness. Now let's summarize what we've learned. The pupil in our eye expands in dark conditions and contracts in bright conditions. Short-sightedness is a condition where faraway objects seem blurred. It is corrected by concave lenses. Long-sightedness is when nearby objects seem blurred. It is corrected by convex lenses.